Hi, this is Zach with HVACdirect.com, and today we're going to answer another common question I used to get out in the field. Why won't my furnace turn off? Now, whenever your furnace is running, we all expect it to turn off when it reaches the set point, and we know that means that the fan should stop running and the heat should stop coming out of your ductwork. If this doesn't happen, there are a few things that you can check. The first thing I want you to double check is go to your thermostat and make sure your fan is not set to on, make sure it is set to auto. If the fan is set to on, the actual burners will turn off, but you will keep moving air throughout the house. Now that is not a bad thing, but sometimes people do get confused and they think the furnace is still running and heating when it's simply just the fan running and moving air throughout the house. Now, I actually do recommend leaving your fan in the on position as it'll help circulate air in your house, it'll even out the temperatures in your house, and it can help keep you more comfortable. But if you are worried that your furnace is still running when it shouldn't, move that switch or hit that button from on to auto. If the fan does stop running at that point, you're good to go. Now another common reason that a furnace will keep running when it's not supposed to would be still the thermostat. If the thermostat has had some kind of failure and is telling the furnace to run even though it shouldn't, that could cause a problem. A very easy way to figure out if that is the issue is to pull the face of the thermostat off the sub base. If you pull the face off and the furnace does stop operating, then you know it was the thermostat that was telling it to run. Of course, remember, you have to check two things before you do this. One, the room temperature and the set point. If the room temperature and the set point are the same, your furnace should not be running. If the room temperature is below the set point, then your furnace should be running. So if the room is 60 degrees and you have the furnace set at 70, it should be operating. But if they're equal, it should not. Now, when you pull that sub base off, you shouldn't have to worry about causing any issues or any shorts, but please be aware that it is an electrical circuit that is live. It is 24 volts, so it should not hurt you, but please be careful. Now, if you've determined that it's not the thermostat and that the system is still operating longer than it should or not shutting off, another reason could be that your furnace is short cycling. This is one that people sometimes struggle to understand, but I'll explain. When a furnace short cycles, what that means is it turns on, it overheats, and then it shuts back off. But a lot of times, in fact, almost all the times, the blower will not stop running. The reason for that is we're trying to cool that furnace down. But we're not really heating the house. The flame comes on, it may run for three seconds, a minute, who knows. Then the furnace overheats, the flame shuts off, but the blower keeps running. What this can lead to is very long run times. And a lot of times customers or homeowners will think their furnace is simply not shutting off, but in fact, it's not working properly. To be able to diagnose that, you would wanna call out a licensed technician to come look at your system and figure out why your furnace is overheating or short cycling. Now we do have another video with some common reasons a furnace will short cycle or overheat. So go check that out before your technician comes out. But those are probably the most common reasons that your furnace will not shut off and keep running. Now, if it does get to the point where your house is just getting extremely hot, there is a flame, you're actually heating, please keep in mind that you can turn the furnace off manually. Most furnaces will have a switch on the side of them. You can turn the power off and the furnace will shut off. You could also go to your breaker and if you turn the power off at the breaker, the furnace will shut off as well. If you have no high voltage or line voltage, the furnace cannot run. So if you are getting to that point where it's 90, 95 degrees in your house and you simply just want to stop the heat, remember you can always turn the power off. Now at that point, the best thing to do would be to call your local heating and cooling contractor and they could come take a look at it and let you know what's going on. Of course, there can always be multiple reasons that furnaces aren't functioning properly, so if we miss something or you thought of another reason that's common or could cause this issue, let us know in the comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, and we hope to see you next time.